These are 10 advanced tips that will further help you improve in Arena Breakout. Let's get started. If you want to sell a gun, remove every attachment on it and sell every item individually, this way you can make 20 to 30% more money than if you were to sell it as a whole. And it'll also sell rather quickly since attachments are highly demanded in the market. Using gyroscope will take your gameplay to the next level. Once you master it, your recoil handling will become 10 times better. You can loot every single one of these drawers, and they can drop expensive keys and jewelry so make sure to never miss them. Same thing goes for jackets, as this is the best way to potentially obtain rare keys. Proning refills your stamina bar way faster, you can use this to safely traveling long distances, every time your stamina runs out, you can prone behind cover and wait for it to refill safely instead of walking in the open. You can use the AI player's voice lines in covert ops mode, this is useful for fooling other players by pretending to be a bot. Make sure to peek every corner before walking into it to make sure no one's waiting for you, as most players often make the mistake of rushing blindly which will get you killed sooner or later. You can shoot players through wooden walls, most players don't know this so you can catch them off guard. This doesn't work on metal walls so don't waste your ammo. You should never loot a player you kill until you make sure the area is clear, just ignore it and focus, since you've just made a lot of noise so players might be coming to you. Putting loot into a rig and then putting it into your backpack gives you more storage, as the rig takes less space than it gives. Also you can take unlimited backpacks of the same type, as long as it doesn't have back pockets. You should always check this contact's trade offers. Every 6 hours he gives you random deals for items and ammo. You can exchange some of them and flip them for a higher price in the market. To check if the item is worth flipping, you can click fill to check for how much you can get it for. Then you can click search to check for how much it's sold for. For example we can get this silencer for 4.5k and sell it for over 9.5k. Sometimes you can get rare keys for 200k and sell them for over 800k, making it a very useful tip for passive income. When buying armor and helmets, select worn to buy them with a much cheaper price with less durability. Some players think if they're slow walking or not moving, they can't be seen on the footsteps indicator by enemies, here are some things you should know that most players ignore. If you're standing still and you turn around you'll be revealed on the indicator. If you slow walk you won't be revealed unless you walk into these bushes. Or these tree leaves. If you're slow walking directly under or above an enemy player, you'll be revealed to them on the indicator. You should always take at least two grenades as they are very powerful especially against higher geared players as killing them with a gun is much harder. If the enemy's armor is better than your ammo's penetration level, you should focus on shooting their legs since it ignores armor and you'll kill them way faster, for example if you were to hit tier 6 armor with tier 3 bullets it'll take you more than a full mag to eliminate him. If you're rushing an enemy through a doorframe or in a corner, make sure to jump shoot him which decreases your chances of getting headshot by a large margin, and it can also catch the enemies off guard. Headshotting an enemy will instantly kill him without knocking even if he has teammates, but a non-headshot kill will knock him if he has teammates. So if you kill someone and he doesn't get knocked, it doesn't mean he's solo. 
One more thing to keep in mind is that powerful snipers like Axe 50 is instant death even for a normal body shot kill.